Hey, it's Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. I'm here at Bayer's G4A Signing Day, and joining me right now, I have one of the startups. This is a physician-founded startup, right? So you're an optometrist. Mm -hmm. This is Stephanie. She's the founder of Oco Health. And so you guys have this really cool game that kind of monitors patients with an eye disease. So talk to us about what, what Oco Health has and what led you to found it. Yeah, certainly. Thank you for having me on. Uh, so at OCO, uh, we use the smartphone technology that's already in everybody's pockets, together with our games technology. So the app is just like playing a puzzle video game. Okay. Uh, and from that, we generate large amounts of data about how well people are seeing. So the game has been optically designed, psychologically designed, so that we can get as much data about how the eyes work as possible. Okay, how does a video game on, like know from a medical standpoint what to be looking for, what my eyes are doing when I'm playing it? Yeah, sure. So we, um, so, so it's kind of, it's almost like the eye chart, you know, some things are easy to see, some things are really tiny and hard to see. And so what we do, we don't use any letters, we don't use any symbols. Um, but what we do is we've specially built some things that are really hard to see in there that you have to um, play with and some things which are easier to see. And we look at how you interact. And so it's, it's really looking at that. Okay, and you also mentioned that you have kind of like a patient-led design philosophy in your company. And so you being an optometrist are, are kind of, you're familiar with this patient population, you kind of know what they want, but you've went back to them for help with the interface. So talk to me about that part of this. Absolutely. So I believe if, you know, you're developing something for a group that really they should be the ones mm -hmm. to co-design, okay? Because I think for many years, um, people, as clinicians have been thinking that we know exactly what patients need. And that's not true. Because when you really talk to patients, that's when you realize what they really need. Uh, so we have a co-design philosophy. Uh, we use patients at every stage during the design process, even before we um, start anything new at all. Uh, so really when it comes to the colors, the interactions, the speeds, what they're interested in, everything is you know, is, is fed back. And what kind of patients are these? What kind of eye diseases? Mm. So these are people who live with eye disease. So okay. people who've been diagnosed with diabetic eye disease or age-related macular degeneration. Um, so, so for those patients, um, you know, they're going to otherwise be coming into hospital very regularly for many years. So for us, it's about saying, okay, let's do this home monitoring software. You can monitor yourself at home. You can come back in when we need you to come back in. And otherwise the patient has some reassurance and they don't need to come into hospital as much. What is the business model around this? Who are you selling it to? Is it direct to the patient or is it to like a health provider? Mm. So actually that's something that we're playing with at the moment. So oh. trying to figure out exactly who's going to be the payer. We think it's most likely to be a healthcare provider. Now whether that is through the, the hospital provider or whether that's through insurance or actually through pharma partnerships. That's the bit that we're untangling over the next few months. We'll come back to the pharma partnership part piece in a second, but I just wanted to ask about the business itself. So, I mean, this is the thing. I know you guys are a pretty pretty young company, so you finished a, an MVP of the, of the game. Um, where are you guys at otherwise? How big is your team? Where are you located? And give us a sense of how you're funded. Yeah, so we've got a small team of six people based in Bristol in the UK. And we have designers in that team, we have coders in that team, and and yeah, it, it's 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 really, really fun. Our funding so far has come from a convertible loan from a previous accelerator that we were on called the KQ Labs, which is in the Crick Institute in London. Also from Angel Investment. So yeah, that, that's the round. Looking that we're right now? We are just completing a round, yeah. So if anybody still wants to get in there, that's fine. <laughs> now is the time. Now is the time. Uh, yeah, and we will be raising again in spring, summer next year for our seed round. All right, and what brought you to the Bayer G4A program? Well, why not? You know, why not? Not a good answer. Okay. I want to know for real. Okay. <laughs> so within ophthalmology, there are certain key players. And for us, Bayer, I mean, Bayer are a leader in, in ophthalmology, in the drug that a lot of these patients take. Um, but also they were a company that we know are good to work with. And so that was really important to us as well. So we're really excited to, yeah, to be learning from people who really know how to make things happen. Yeah. You know? They definitely do know how to do that. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank it's a pleasure morning. to talk to you. Yes, absolutely. I'm Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health talking to all the startups here at Bayer's G4A signing day. Thanks so much for joining us.